Okay, so we just finished up making our delete key card friend method that we can use later on. So go ahead and close out or make sure you've saved your Visual Basic or your, your data grid set and all your queries. Close that out. Close out the resident card history. Close out the design form and then make sure all you have is your form and possibly your form design. The design's not that important, but the form is what you want. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coding the insert button. So I've already gone ahead and I've coded this. I'm going to paste it in, and then I'm going to explain what it is that I've gone ahead and done. So when I paste it in, you may want to pause the video, copy the code, and then follow along as I explain what we're doing or what the code is doing. Okay, so here's the code. Go ahead, like I said, pause the video, take the time, write up the code, write in my comments if you want, but right now I'm going to actually explain what this does. So first what we do, and we're going to do this for all of our button event handle handlers, we're going to first define the current set index. That's the when we're in the form, the one we have highlighted. That's the current index. Then the column value is going to be the first index, which is the ID. So the data grid of zero, and then the row, so the column row is going to be of one. And so it's saying get that index ID, which will return whatever it is, one, two, three, four, five, one thousand, whatever it might be. Next, what we do is we set variables for all the key fields in the design grid. So that's these fields, like the first name, the last name, the zip code, the state, the date entered. So go ahead and create those. You don't have to create the variables for the other ones, but it's probably a good idea to do that. But I've actually done something different in my other event handlers. Uh, after you create your variables, then we're going to execute the query, the insert query, from the resident table adapter. So go ahead, me dot, or you don't even have to put me, but I like to do it to let you know that I'm using this form. So me dot resident table adapter dot insert query, and then the parameters are first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, and date entered, which we have our variables defined right here. Followed by this is Microsoft requires you to do a few things. So we're then going to re uh, refresh the data grid view after we've made our changes. And then we're going to rebind the source which will rebuild the data and then basically Microsoft just requires these two lines or you will you might have error if you don't apply them or errors if you don't apply them so go ahead and make sure you set that and that's the overview of how you create an insert button click handler event in the next video I'm gonna go over how to create the update button click handler event